I'm Dilly Den, and today I'm making another character based off of a set of dice. These are sort of a dark blue confetti color that kind of reminds me of arcade carpeting. There is flecks of green, purple, red, lighter blue, black, and gray, and bright yellow numbers. I rolled for stats, and I ended up getting 5, 12s, and 113. So good at a little bit of everything, but not great. Kind of a jack of all trades. I'm thinking tiefling because colorful tieflings are fun. I am going to swap some of the base stats so I get a plus one in strength and a plus two in constitution, making both of those stats 14 and the rest are 12s. I think she's going to be a paladin and take the Oath of the Watchers. Her name is Arcades, and she lives in a bustling city called Crossroads. That happens to be a place where different planes overlap a lot. Extra planar creatures cross over into the city unusually regularly. And this is allowed to a certain extent as long as they come peacefully. Which means there is a high population of tieflings, asmars, genasi, fey, and other extraplanar people. However, sometimes visitors do not follow the rules, and that's where Arcades comes in. Arcades is a member of the Rift Guard, which is tasked with keeping the extraplanar visitors from leveling crossroads. She grew up in the city to tiefling parents and has a younger sister. When she was very young in school, there was a cool older student, an Asimar named Kavi, who protected her from a mischievous imp who was wrecking havoc on the school ground. It had stolen Arcady's backpack and was mocking her. Kavi kind of always looked after her after that. Kavi was a bit of a prodigy and eventually joined the Rift Guard, and now she is a very popular hero of the city. Arcades always looked up to her like an elder sister and decided to follow her into the Rift Guard when she graduated. Unlike Kavi, Arcades started at the lowest rank. Arcades spends a lot of time helping pixies get settled in the community and arguing with minor devils about their awful landlord contracts. While Kavi is always saving the city by sending dangerous fiends and powerful elementals back to their home planes. And Kavi still seems to have time to dip in and rescue Arcades when she gets in over her head. Arcades feels like she's still the scared little kid that's being rescued by a cooler friend. But even though she doesn't really notice it herself, she's slowly becoming stronger and more respected in the community. So when a pixie discovers the plot of an archfey who is attempting to destroy a careful truce between an angel and a devil, he takes it to Arcades. The angel and devil are community leaders in Crossroads. If they fight, their underlings would follow their lead, and the fighting that would ensue would be chaos. And once it's settled, all involved would get sent back to their home planes leaving a power vacuum for the Archfey to exploit. This seems like it could be Arcady's big break. She hopes she can unravel this plot and prove herself to Kavi and the rest of the city.
some things about her appearance. I wanted to give her colorful freckles. It's cute. And it fits the speckled design of the dice. I also put a bit of the speckled colors into her hair. Her tail and horns are actually fully black. But they are shiny and have a bit of an oil slick leg quality where they seem colorful anyway. She wears a purple dress under her scale mail and a dark blue sort of tabard-like thing over it, which is a symbol of her office. And she has lace-up sandals. I feel like I end up doing leggings and boots with a lot of my characters, so I wanted to do something different. And a dress works well with the tail. I think she turned out pretty cute. Hi, Katie's. Check out the other dice characters and also check out my coffee shop. I've been slowly adding some dice character art packs that even have PNG tubers to use as talk sprites during online games. The link's down in the description. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to continue on this art journey with me. Bye!